Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So I have another really exciting tutorial to share with you. This is how to make my brand new drum using the On My Drum die set from my new Christmas toy box collection. Now I really love this one, it's so pretty. And um, in, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make this as well as the top section as well and you can also change out the top section and have it as a closed lid that will slot onto the, the the walls here so you can actually have that option as well so it can be open topped closed top you can put wine in there tall things as well so let's get on with showing you how to make this beautiful drum okay so to make the drum you're going to be needing to cut out two of these larger sections as always i just tip everything into a tray just to keep everything in one place so this is going to be needing a large format die cutting machine as well so let's get that taped down and then run that through Okay, so you're going to be needing to cut two of these and I've popped one together already. So for this one, there is no hole in the center, but for this one, for the top, I'm going to create a hole. So we have these two dies here. So I'm gonna be going for this larger one here that is going to create the exact size hole that we're going to be needing. So line everything up into the center as best as you can. And then make sure you do tape it in place. Tape it in both ends. And then I'm going to run that through the machine. So this is going to create the top section of the box. So this box that I'm creating today does not have a lid. If you want to create one with a closing lid, just create two of these without a hole in. And then the, this bit at the bottom, another one at the top, that will be your lid. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. So now what we can do is just fold all of the score lines and then we'll be ready for gluing together. Now this technique will be the same for this bottom piece as well. It's just this one has a hole in it. Okay, so that is all done now. And don't forget to um, do these little side flaps here, not the these ones here but these bottom ones here they have the score lines in just just give those a little bit of a bend inwards okay so we're going to be starting off with this side first the ones with the wings we're going to be folding those in first and then these ones without the wings fold in over the top to create a lovely join. Okay, so I'm going to go round and just do the ones with the wings. I so just add the glue to this bottom section, the end flap, and then roll that over and then glue that in place. And then work your way around. Okay, so you should have something that now looks like this. So to do your last sections, just add some glue here to these little side flaps and a little bit on these ends that are sticking out. Oh, that didn't go down properly. Just like that. And then some more glue on this bottom flap. Oh, I've got a naughty, it is being naughty and then just fold that in just like that there we go and then just hold that in place and then move on to the next one so i'm adding glue to the little flaps at the bottom 
just to these end pieces bit of glue there and then wrap it around And just hold that into place okay so now we should have a piece that looks like this and a piece that looks like that so that's going to be at the top of the box when we turn it over I'm gonna slide on so let's pop those aside to dry properly and let's move on to the sides okay so this is the side piece here and we have a map for it as well that's going to fit inside there and then we also have this intricate detail here that's going to create some lovely diamond shapes so to create that you would run those two through the machine together and you will end up with a piece that looks just like that and if you want to you can mat it underneath so create a mat and you'll have a piece that looks like this so run that through and then we can just glue that on to that so I'm keeping with the red sides so I've got all of my pieces done already so you need eight of these so let's set those out and let's finish off this last piece here so I've glued that on already and I'm just going to glue that over the top We go so all we have to do now is glue all of these pieces together to make one long strip Okay, so I'm just going to use my bone folder just to press everything down. There we go. So here we have a drum almost done. So this is going to slide on the top if you would like an open top. So I'm just going to place that there. There we go. So that would be your open top. And again, use these mats here on the inside if you don't want to see any of those joins where you've glued it together. So that is the open top. And then if you want to have a closed top, just make another one of the base and that will slide on the top there. And that will be a closed drum lid. So the options are there. So I'm going to be making this into an open top and we can have taller things coming out the top. So I'm just going to add some glue now just to the inside sections of this and then after we've done that we can then add the decorative string around the edge of the drum. one drum okay so let's add the string now 
right so while that's warming up I'm just going to quickly die cut that I'm going to be using gold again Okay, so here's my twine. So while I'm still waiting for this to heat up, I just want to go through the lid, the top lid. So if you wanted to, this die set does come with this lovely trellis die here. You would just layer that trellis die with those other hexagon, hex, no, they're not even hexagonals, um, with the 10 sided deck, deck something. I will put it here, what it's called, I keep forgetting. So you can just layer these up just like that. There we go, so these are the same size, so you can either go for something like this, or you can layer it up with something like that, and that will go, obviously it won't fit on there now, but that is kind of what it was going to look like when it's matched up with the paper that was used on the side. Okay, so my glue gun should be heated up now, so I'm going to sit down for this. So just a bit of glue just on that top section and use a bone folder or something so you don't burn your fingers. Okay, but now we've got you got me. Okay, so we're going to pop a bit of glue in the centre of that corner. Press that down, keep that quite tight. And then we're gonna go up. Okay, so all of my strings are on there now, so all I have to do is pop these on. I need to cut one more of these, that will give me 20, and then I can just pop these just over there, just to hide all of the messy glue. So that is fiddly, so I am going to use my special sticks to stick to pick those up. I need to sharpen it again to make it that sticky. And basically, you can pick that up and then pop that on. Okay, so here is our finished drum. I just need to tidy off a few of these extra um, hot glue strings, but I'm really pleased how these papers and the gold and my color combination has worked with this one. So there's loads of different color combinations that you can go for with this. So I have the open top for this one, so I can have something tall sticking out the top. I can even use it as a nice little accessories for my, well, a nice little pot for my accessories there. That's gonna look really festive. And again, mini bottle of wine or a big bottle of wine sticking out the top. There's so many different ideas. And again, if you didn't want to go for the open top, just don't do this top layer here. Just make another base and pop that will pop over the top. And then there's some lovely mats there. So this one will probably be quite nice at the bottom there. 
Okay, so thank you for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye for now.